Hello, hello, everybody. We are on to the next module, and we're up to 1941, where we're looking at a classic piece of cinema called The Maltese Falcon. Um, I know I keep saying classic piece of cinema, but all the films we are watching are some of the best films ever made um, for their time. The director in this particular project is a guy named John Huston. John Huston and John Ford were two of the more prestigious directors working at the time. We've seen a couple John Ford films. Um, this particular one, John Huston, was nominated. Um, the Maltese Falcon was nominated for a few Academy Awards. Best Picture, Best Supporting Actor, and Best Screenplay. And this is kind of the beginning of film noir, which is not necessarily a genre. Some people call it a genre, could be considered, I guess. But it's a mood and a style and a point of view or a tone for a film. That's what film noir is. They're usually downbeat films that feature mistrust, fear, blackness, loss of innocence, and paranoia. Okay? So the film noir plots were very often developed around cynical, hard-headed, or hard-hearted, disillusioned male characters who encountered a beautiful but promiscuous double-dealing femme fatale. Some of the themes that we explore in this particular movie would be greed inspires the actions of all the characters in the film and deceit everyone in the film lies. Okay, so these aren't very like upbeat, uplifting kind of stories. They're, um, you know, they'd probably fall depending, you know, depending on how the each one of them ended. They're probably considered more often than not a tragedy um, storyline or a tragic storyline. The synopsis for this film. Detective Sam Spade takes a case brought to him by a beautiful but secretive woman. Soon after Sam's partner is murdered, Sam is accosted by a man demanding he locates a valuable statuette. Sam, entangled in a dangerous web of crime and intrigue, must find the one thing they all seem to want, the bejeweled Maltese Falcon. Okay, It's a pretty cool story. Again, it's got that kind of mystery thriller kind of suspense thing going which is something different and new this isn't the type of film that was being made until about this time um, things to look out for what is the best way to describe sam spade's principles and morality okay so see if you can figure that out kind of what's this guy all about what type of character is ruth wanderley bridget o'shaughnessy okay why does sam lie to the police and why is Sam a suspect in his partner's death? Those are all important questions and elements to examine as you watch the film. Um, other things to watch out for. Why does Archer's wife, Eva, suspect Spade? And why does he tell her about seeing her? What is the filmmaker telling us through images when Sam meets Bridget at the apartment? So look for this. This is some good visual storytelling. So see if you can kind of figure out what's going on and what the filmmaker is trying to say. Why does Casper Gutman tell Sam he doesn't trust a man who's not out for him? Why does Sam smile on the way out from meeting Gutman? Gutman tells Sam Thursby he couldn't be convinced to betray Bridget. What is Bridget's nonverbal reaction to this? After Gutman and Cairo leave, the pursue, um, leave to pursue the Maltese Falcon, Sam crosses the room toward Bridget. What does she think Sam is about to do? And what does he actually do? Okay, so there's a lot of, again, suspense and a lot of misdirection and a lot of kind of the kind of storytelling device that's being used is this whole idea. Sometimes um, the audience knows more than the characters. Sometimes the characters know more than the audience. And when you're watching a film noir kind of spy movie or kind of mystery film, you are... They're going to use that technique where they're just sometimes they sometimes the, the audience knows things that some of the characters on screen don't and vice versa. So look for these elements. See if you can kind of figure out how they're telling the story and revealing it in a kind of um, mysterious, suspenseful way. So other things to look for. Why does Sam take the one thousand dollars? Why does Sam say it's bad business to not turn Bridget into the police? Right, so think about one of the themes that we're talking about, deceit. And what image do we see as Bridget is taken away by police on the elevator? Okay, so there's a lot to look for in this particular film. Again, think about those themes that we discussed and um, how all these different elements and questions and things to look for kind of play into the style of the film. Hopefully you enjoyed the film. If you got any questions, please reach out.